Looking at today's lesson, we're looking for volume of prisms. Uh, the volume of a rectangular prism was something that you would have learned in a previous time. We're going to review that first and then talk about the ones after that. So to start with, um, if we're looking for the volume inside of this prism here, what we need to know is that we want to know how many cubes would fit inside of that shape. That's the volume, the amount of space inside. One way to look at it is if we had a bunch of little cubes and we put them in here, we want to know, well, how many cubes would fit if we could fit a bunch of cubes in here? So again, looking at how many cubes could we fit in here if we could fit a bunch of little tiny cubes inside, each of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. And noticing that it's a five by six base means that if each of these were one centimeter per side, we'd be able to fit 30 cubes in here. That would give us five times six, 30 cubes would fit on that bottom layer. And then if we can take that information and think, well, this is, has a height of 22 centimeters, we could fit 22 layers of cubes on this one. So we take the 30 that are there times the 22 layers that we could have. And so we do 30 times 22. And then we end up with 660 centimeter cubed cubes will fit in there. And that's actually where the cubed comes from. When we're talking about volume, we're talking about how many cubes would fit inside something, and therefore our units are going to be cubed. So 600 center, 660 centimeters cubed. Okay. So now we get to ones. Well, they're not just all rectangular sides. And the way we do this if, for finding volume is area of the base. times the height of the whole shape itself. Um, and this gets a little bit tricky at first. Um, the formula for it is usually written like this. And what you'll notice is there's a capital B and a lowercase h. h is just a single unit. It's the shape's height. But when it says area of the base, that means you have to take and figure out which side is the base and find its area first. And so this capital B is a combination of other things first. It's finding the area of the base first and then multiplying it by the height of the object. In this case, um, if you look at this one, if we found how many cubes fit down here on this base layer of 12 by 10, the next layer above it would be smaller because this side is curving in or angled in. And then the next layer of it would be a little bit smaller and the next layer would be a little smaller as we go. So it turns out it's easiest to find the volume if you can find the side or the shape that is not a rectangle. In that case, this one has a side that's a triangle that's 5 by 12. And again, if we're looking to find the area of that triangle itself, the formula is base times height divided by 2. I know that the triangle has side lengths of 5, 12, and 13. But when we're looking for base and height, we always look for the right angle. Here it is. And that right angle connects the sides we need. So we need the 5 and the 12 in this case. So it'll be 5 times 12 divided by 2. As I've been doing, cross-canceling is lovely. 12 divided by 2 is 6, leaving us with just 5 times 6 is 30. And this is centimeters cubed. Okay. That means if I took this triangular prism and flipped it kind of like this. If this triangle is the bottom, I would be able to fit 30 cubes in there. So if this triangle here is the bottom with 30 cubes, then the height has to be right here. This is how tall it is because this is the bottom base. So in that case, we fit 30 cubes where the triangle is. We need how many layers? 10 of them. And that gives us 300 centimeters cubed as the volume for this shape. And again, notice we did area of the base times the height. 
but the area of the base depended on what shape it was. So we used the formula for area of a triangle because that was our shape of our base. Um, this next one, very similar, it has a triangular side and then a bunch of rectangular sides, in which case we have to find the area of the triangle and then multiply it by the height. So again, we do have a triangle and it's gonna be base times height divided by two, in which case we need to find the base and the height. Notice that right here, it makes a right angle. And in that case, our base and our height are connected to that, the five feet and the seven feet. So we'll do five times seven divided by two. This one, none of them divide neatly. So it's just gonna be 35 divided by two. And in that case, it's going to be 17.5 feet cubed. So that is the area of that triangle. That means we could fit 17 and a half cubes in a layer right here. You could fill it in with lots of cubes. So if this is how many cubes fit right there, then how many layers do we need? And again, so we're gonna look at what's the height. Well, I'm gonna slip the paper this way. If this right here is your base, that can fit 17 and a half cubes, then your height is this side right here, 9.5 feet. That's how many layers you would need. So we're gonna use that information and do that next. So we'll have 17.5 times the 9.5 of the height, and we get 166.25 feet cubed for our volume this tent could hold 166 and a fourth cubes inside of it. This next one here looks a little interesting. Um, it looks harder than the rest, but when it comes to these, since at your age, we don't know how to find the area of a shape like this yet, besides splitting it up into pieces and finding composite area, they'll often just tell us what the area of the base is. So that's even better. So the area of the base here is 45 square meters, and the height is 10. So if we're finding volume, we need the area of the base times the height. The area of the base they already told us is 45. The height they told us is 10. And well, that makes for some easy solving. We get 450 meters cubed for our volume. So once you know what your base and your height are, go ahead and work that out for volume of prisms. All right. It's been good. I will talk to you and see you all later. Bye.